How's it going out there, YouTube land and all sorts of social media lands? Welcome to an all new video. In this video, we're doing a review of a new film that just came out today. I actually ended up seeing it last night uh, for its Thursday night showing. And is a great film that is based on a great horror monster that came out back in the 1930s. So we're going to get right into that. Before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on this video or any other videos I put up. As always, people, if you enjoy my content here on YouTube, definitely check out my other social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Rizzle, all those great places. Pretty much post on a regular basis, so definitely check those out. As always, people, let's get right into this. So welcome, one and all, to an all-new video. So like I was saying before, we're going to be doing a review of a new movie that just came out today and is a based on a great monster character that Universal brought out back in the 1930s. Hence, the film called Renfield. Oh, yeah. Renfield. Yeah. So this is the first time we're getting a full-length feature that is based on the sidekick of Dracula, Renfield. Now, Renfield has had many parts in other, you know, Dracula-inspired films, you know, horror films that are include the, you know, Frankenstein's monster and the mummy and stuff like that. We've seen Renfield several times, but we've never seen him actually have a really a solo film of his own, and that's basically what this is. And I was really impressed with this film. It was really done well. Uh, I loved the comedy. I loved the horror aspect. And it was just a really solid film that checked all the boxes for those who absolutely love the classic horror films from, you know, the 30s and 40s and so forth. You know, like Dracula, The Mummy, Creature of the Black Lagoon, stuff like that. If you enjoy those types of films, this film is, is that for you. It takes those elements but also brings it to modern times and gives us a really solid, funny comedy horror element that had tons of blood throughout the film that was absolutely freaking ridiculously overboard. Kind of like in the final fight sequence in First Kill Bill. That's what you get throughout this movie and it was really freaking awesome. Now, this film happens to be directed none other by a gentleman that goes by the name of Chris McKay. Yeah, Chris McKay. Yeah, so Chris McKay has directed a few other things. Uh, this is his third feature-length film that he's directed. He also directed the Lego Batman movie, which was actually his directorial debut. And uh, he's directed a few other things over the years, but I think he's a really solid director. He really had a great eye for what he wanted to bring to this film and just did a really solid good job. And I was really impressed with what he did with the film, too, making it very classical, but at the same time very modern. And also, along with it, he, he gave us just really good comedy, really good action sequences, and just really great just elements all together for such a really solid horror comedy film. Now, another film he directed, and I think is a really fantastic film, it's actually, uh, you know, I absolutely love the Lego Batman movie, but this film I really enjoyed, too, and thought was a really great film. Uh, you know, it was kind of, it was big when it first came out, but I feel like the, that it's diminished over time since it came out, and really nobody's talking about it, and I think it's a really solid sci-fi film. And that happens to be the Chris Pratt-led film called The Tomorrow War. Yeah, The Tomorrow War. This is a really fantastic film that Amazon put out, and Chris McKay directed it, and you can see the action sequences he did in that film brought to life in Renfield because he brought that same kind of action packedness of that sci-fi alien film into Renfield because this movie is action packed and just has a really great story, lots of great acting and I just thought Chris did a really good job of giving us this really solid alien just you know try to take over the world time machine type of deal thing that is just a really fun concept but at the same time it's a really fun film with lots of great you know action and stuff like that involved in it and i just thought chris did a really good job of bringing that all to life and give us a really solid film if you haven't seen anything else chris mckay has directed definitely go check out tomorrow war on amazon it's really superb but i really enjoyed what he did with redfield because once again like i said from tomorrow war that those action sequences he brought to life did the same thing in Renfield. I mean, there's some great action sequences throughout Renfield. I mean, tons of them, along with the comedy and kind of the serious side at the same time. It gives you a great mixture of all of it. And Chris just did a really good job of giving us all those three types of genres into one film. Really fantastically directed. I think he did a great job. If you haven't seen anything Chris McKay has directed, definitely go check out Renfield and Theaters now. He did an amazing job. 
Absolutely. So this movie has a really great cast. I really enjoy the cast of this film. And they all did a great job of bringing this you know, film to life and giving us really solid performances that were just super funny, super action-packed, just really amazing. Now, to start us off is none other than Dracula himself in the film, Mr. Nick Cage. Oh, yeah, Nicholas Cage, woo, Nicholas Cage, yeah. Oh, my God. I love Nicolas Cage in anything. It could be the worst B-movie ever. It could suck balls. He is amazing whatever he does. And he was superb as Dracula. He was so awesome. Even the voice he came up with and having to talk through those teeth that he has to wear in the film, he did such a great freaking job. And I absolutely love the type of Dracula he betrayed that he was like, you know, this... He was different than other Draculas I've seen and I really enjoyed it. And I just enjoyed what Nicholas did with this character and giving us this really solid, you know, characterization of Dracula that was so super evil. But at the same time, you can see he had a little bit of love for Renfield and a little bit of, you know, uh, there was something there about him that was, it was definitely lots of charm and very manipulative and stuff like that. And he just did a good job of portraying that and giving us this really awesome film uh and some of his lines were just absolutely freaking hilarious and cracked me up so hardcore it was so fantastic now if you haven't seen nicholas cage or anything else which i had i find that hard to believe but if you get a chance you should definitely check out this movie that he was so superb in uh, i think it's one of my favorites of his he was just really fantastic in it and i just think it's a really solid film and then of course is the film called The Rock! Yeah! The Rock! Yeah! So this is a great film that he was in. I absolutely love his character in this film. He was so kick-ass. He was so awesome. He was a great character, and he worked, you know, with so many great actors. Ed Harris, Sean Connery, Mike Bien. I mean, so many great people in this film. And he was just really solid in this film and just really kicked butt. And I think it's a very great film. If you haven't seen Nicolas Cage or anything, you're not too familiar with Nicolas Cage, definitely this is the first film you should definitely check out for his performance because he just was so solid in it. You know, along with all those movies that he made, around that time, you know, from Con Air to Face Off to, you know, all those types of films around that time. He just was really superb. And this film, I just feel, doesn't get enough recognition for how great of a prince it was and how awesome he was in this film. And it's definitely something to check out. If you haven't seen Nicolas Cage or anything, definitely go check him out on The Rock. It was a really fantastic film. But he was absolutely dynamite as Dracula. He was fantastic in Ranfield. This is another great notch in his, you know, acting bravada, and he was just so awesome. If you haven't seen Renfield yet, definitely go check it out for Nicolas Cage. He was so freaking awesome. So that brings me to the next actor, actress I like to talk about that was in this film. And that is none other than the police officer in this film that was trying to, you know, stop the evil people throughout this entire film. The actress known as... Aquafina! Oh yeah! Aquafina! Woo! Aquafina! Yeah! So Aquafina is awesome. Absolutely love her. She's a great comedian. Love her show, show Nora Queens. Love her pretty much anything she's ever been in. She is always freaking on point. Always super funny. And just a really great addition to anything she's in. Her role in Crazy Rich Asians was absolutely freaking hilarious. You know? Just anything she pops up in, she's always really fantastic. And I always enjoy her. And I really enjoyed her in Renfield. I liked her, you know, her character. It was very Aquafina-ish. And I really enjoyed her, co you know, collaboration between with Dracula, Nick Cage, and Nicholas Holt, and everyone else in the film. She just really worked well into it. I liked what she brought to the character. And I just really thought it was a really well-done job. And I thought she was a really good, uh, good guy character in the film that was a great addition to, you know, to tell Renfield's story. Now, another great film she was in, if you haven't seen her in anything else, or want to look for something else to watch she was in, is another great film that came out a couple years ago from Marvel Studios. And absolutely got to be one of my all-time favorite roles of her because she just was so superb in it. And then, of course, the film called Shang-Chi, The Legends of the Ten Rings. Yeah, Shang-Chi. Yeah, Shang-Chi, yeah. This is such a freaking fantastic film. 
Uh, Simu Liu is fantastic as Shang-Chi, and Aquafina was just a great addition to that film, being his sidekick, being that awesome character, and I absolutely loved her in this film. I loved her heartwarmingness. I loved her comedy. I just loved her whole portrayal of the character. It was just a really solid performance. And I don't think she, there's enough credit for how good she was in the film. And I definitely think that people should definitely see this role of hers to see how great of an actor she is. Because I feel in that film, too, she really showed several sides of emotions from, you know, you know heartbreak to... Uh, you know, sadness to comedy to happiness, you know, to all these different things. And I think she did a really good, well-rounded job of bringing that to life in that film. If you haven't seen Shang-Chi yet, definitely go check it out on Disney Plus for Aquafina's performance. She was amazing in the film. And she was amazing in Redfield. She was so awesome. Absolutely loved her. She had some great one-liners in this film. She had some just great lines as well. Uh, I mean, you know, absolutely fantastic. I loved her interactions throughout the whole entire film and just was a really fun role and I really enjoyed her in the film. If you haven't seen Aquafina in anything recently, go check her out in Renfield right now in theaters. She was dynamite. So that brings me to the final actor I'd like to talk about this in this film. And that of course is Renfield himself, Mr. Nicholas Holt. Oh yeah, Nicholas Holt, woo, Nicholas Holt, yeah. Nicholas Hall, you might recognize, of course, as Hank McCoy, the Beast from the First Class series of X-Men films. You might recognize him from uh, About a Boy. You might recognize him from a few other things of the years. And he's just a really fun, awesome actor. And I really enjoyed watching him, you know, you know, grow up and, and see the different types of roles he's taken. And they all have been very interesting. And I always think that he chooses really great roles. And he always is just really fun to watch. And I, Renfield was just a, even, I think, my best role of his career because I absolutely fantastically loved him in this film. He was just so good. And I loved every expression, all the remorse and all the types of thinking he brought to this character. And I just loved how he portrayed it. And it just was a really fantastic rendition, I feel, of Renfield, the character. Because, like I've said, they really never dealt one-on-one -on -one with Renfield in any film. And they really did that. It gave him a really a story and an origin and a life. And Nicholas did a great job of bringing that to life. Now, another great film he was in that you should definitely check out if you are a Nicholas Holt fan or haven't seen him in anything is another film that I feel doesn't get enough credit for how good it was and how fun and how great of a cast it had between Ewan McGregor and Stanley Tucci in this film and Nicholas Holt being in it. And I just thought it was a really solid film that didn't get enough credit for how fun it was. And then, of course, is a film called Jack the Giant Slayer. Yeah, Jack the Giant Slayer. So this came out in 2010, had a couple pushbacks back when it was first coming out. Uh, one of those films that had a lot of CGI added to it because the, the, the giants of the film were all CGI. But I thought it was so well done and a great storytelling of you know Jack and the Beanstalk. And I absolutely loved Nicholas Holt as Jack, and he was just so superb in it. And I loved his interactions with everyone in the film. I loved how he, you know, brought it to life and gave us a really solid performance and acting besides Ewan McGregor and Sam Tushi and having to deal with them and all this kind of good stuff. And it just was a really awesome film, and I really enjoyed Nicholas in it. If you haven't seen anything Nicholas Holt has been in or are looking for something else to check him out in, definitely check out Jack the Giant Slayer. He was really fantastic in it. But I absolutely love Nicholas Holt in this film. He was so freaking good. I, I can't get over how amazing he was as Renfield. I absolutely loved it. And I, I really, with how well he portrayed the character, you know, you fell in love with the character. You actually fell for him and you wanted him to succeed. And that's just how good Nicholas Holt did with the character and with this role. Really fantastic done. He was super funny too. And just everyone did a great job this film. If you haven't seen Nicholas Holt in anything, definitely go check him out on Renfield now. He was really fantastic and superb. So what is Renfield about? Basically the premise of Renfield is it's telling Renfield's side of the story of all the things he's had to go through the last hundred years with Dracula. And basically he's, he's done with it and he wants to get out of it and live his own life and be his own person. And basically it's what happens when he tries to do that. It's such a fantastic film, so well done, so amazing, super funny, gory as hell, and just all around action-packed and fun. If you haven't seen something uh, fun in a long time, definitely go check out Redfield. It was so superb, some great action sequences and scenes throughout this film. Oh my god, there's a great sequence in this film where, there, where you know, Nicholas Holt 
he, as Renfield goes and he starts kicking these military people's butts up by like an apartment building. Absolutely awesome. There's a great one liner where this one character says, Can you order me a number three? Because the toilet is ordering a number two. Absolutely freaking hilarious. And there was just so many great action sequences throughout this film with Ben Schwartz and with Nicolas Cage himself. And just there's so many great scenes throughout this whole freaking film. It was so well done. If you haven't seen Redpool yet, definitely go check it out in theaters now. Worth the watch. Really fantastic. Really well done. So that's it for this movie review, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Also, thank you for subscribing. And if this is your first time here or you have been before, don't forget to check any other new videos by the scene again. As always, people, if you want to show support for the channel, definitely check out my links down below, either from my Patreon page, or once you become a patron, a part of my Patreon, you get all kinds of extra recruitment you don't get here on my YouTube channel for outtakes, bloopers, this is what I do next, all that kind of cool stuff, suggestions, you want something reviewed, I will review it for you. Definitely check that out. Or, if you're a huge horror movie fan, since this is a horror film, check out the whole some amazing horror pack, where you can get great horror films to your door every month for a great love price. So definitely check that out, too. As always, people. Catch you next one.